Hello and welcome to a RPG developer bot team tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to um, import a Vroid character into uh, RPG developer bot team. Um, super simple. All we have to do is uh, first you need to get your Vroid character. I already have one. I made it. Uh, you're going to go to export. Export. I'll make a new folder. Tutorial video. So put that in here. You'll save it as a VRM. You're going to go back into where you saved it. you're going to rename the dot VRM to GLB dot GLB yes okay now we can import it into Blender. Um, if you're not familiar with Blender, I would definitely look to uh, some tutorials. Uh, if you're not too um, familiar with everything, so we're gonna go to File Import GLB. We're going to go into where we just had the file there. Import. Um, what you want to do is you definitely want to get rid of the armature because uh, Bakin does not like the armature there. Um, we're going to switch our mo mode over to shading. Okay. Perfect. All right. Now we need to go over to the um, shading. And we need to... Oop, not copy. We need to... Um, Take all this part right here in the middle. Oh, sorry, I, I forgot my cursor's not selected. But what you're gonna do is you're going to take this section right here and you're going to delete it. Delete it. And scroll back in. You're going to add shader principled BSDF. Click that here, connect the color. With the base color and the BC, BSD, BSDF to the surface. Okay, and you'll have to do that with each part. So we'll go ahead and do the main object parts first. And you'll have to do it for each material as well. It's a little bit of work, but it's it's not too bad. Principle. Base color. Surface, perfect, okay. So those two are done for now. Okay, then you're going back into the body. The body merged, and you'll have, you should have about all of these options. So we're gonna go one by one. You're gonna click the material. Oop, click out of here. Click that material. Okay, there's the skin, that's done. So the next one, go to this one. You're gonna delete all that in the middle. And all you're gonna do is put another BSDF. Um, apparently, from what I read, that uh, uh, when you try to export it as a FBX, you have to, uh, it's reading the shaders, and most programs won't read the shaders instantly. So, that's why we have to do this. I'm not too keen on, uh, or I don't know too much about, uh, Blender and all that, but I'm gonna go ahead and pause the video for now. You're just gonna continue um, going down each piece, and I'll show you the next step.
All right, now once you do that, we have a little bit more work to do with this. Um, you're gonna wanna go to the eye iris, and you're going to want to add an alpha blend. Bring that alpha to the alpha. The eye highlight, same thing. Alpha to the alpha. The face, skin. The eye white, you want to put the alpha on there. The face brow, you want to put the alpha there. That makes the brow fit. The face eye line, the alpha there, and that should do it. All right. Next step is we need to export all the textures. Um, sometimes it works. It doesn't always work. Um, I don't know why. Uh, so go back to the editing. Click on. And then you go to each image. And then go to save as. And then I would just put it in the, the make a new folder for your textures. So textures. And then you're going to save it as image. There. Okay. All right. I'm gonna speed through the rest real quick and um. See on the other side. All right, now that you have all the textures in there, we are going to go back to here, go back into object mode. All right, make sure everything looks good. All right, so now we need to export the FPS. So you will go to export, export, wow, I don't know how to talk apparently. FBS, we'll put it in the exact same folder. You're going to make sure you pick the path mode to copy and click the little box up here because it'll embed it, um, hopefully. If not, we're going to go ahead and fix it anyways. So we're going to call this tutorial. And then you make sure that there is an empty, an armature, mesh, and other. And then you make sure that the geometry is Triangulated faces and the tangent spaces checked. And export. All right. So now we need to go into um, Mitsumo. And I'll go ahead and show you that real quick. Let me pop it up for you. Okay. So it looks like it didn't save the textures. So all you need to do go right here you're going to name this the, the FPS you just saved it to uh, so it'd be like tutorial.fbm and that will import the textures through Mitsumo so you go to select character file we'll go to documents and under video and then tutorial FPS and it should upload our textures as well All right, perfect, yes, so it did. All right, don't worry about all the shading and everything that's gonna get all fixed in Bakim. So click next. Um, make sure you align it up properly. Chin, the wrist, the elbow, that's about right there. The 
knees are about right there. And the groin. And then you're going to stand your skeleton for two chain fingers because they, they don't have that many bones in their fingers like most of them do. So let's play next. Sometimes it takes a second. Although well, ideally it says it could take up to two minutes, so. Alright, cool. Floating. Alright, click next. Alright, and then we're going to search for idle. So once you get your first Mitsumo character, we'll do this one, that's fine. Um, with this, uh, for your first animation done, all you have to do after this is, I'll show you. So we'll crank it up a little bit. That's fine, all right, so we're gonna click download. And then we are going to click with skin and then frames per second 60. Don't mess with the keyframe reduction. Bakin is not a big fan of it. All right. So we're going to minimize that. Minimize that. Open Bakin back up. I will go ahead and just delete all this real quick. Oh, it's important. Maybe that's fine. Right, so local files. It's different names. That's fine. Documents. Just wherever you just save the thing. So it'll be tutorial.fbx. No, I do apologize. It's not that one. It's going to be in your downloads right here, so. Alright. Take the animation you just got, we'll name it Wait at Tutorial. I usually do <laughs> the name at uh, Wait because apparently it's like a Unity thing. But it's better than doing an underscore, so. Alright, so we're going to import this one right here. You can do like that, drag and drop. Okay, no, we won't do it that way. We can do it optimized. So add resources, open files, back to documents, tutorial video, and then wait at tutorial.fbs. Uh, yes, that's fine. So add all new. All right, so we got a little bit of work to do. Um, you can mess with the colliders as much as you want, do whatever you need to do. Um, so we're going to click OK for now. Go back into Resources. You're going to go to Materials, and we're going to go down here to the Weight. All right, so for the face mouse, we don't have to worry about. The eye iris, we need to change it to Map Discard. The eye highlight we need to change to, oop, come on, to map uh, no lit. Uh, the skin we don't have to worry about, the eye whites, the face brow we need to change to discard as well. The eye line we need to change, I do believe it's no lit. So that might be, that's too bright. I think it's just discard. Discard, yeah. Skin. Um, I do believe we leave alone. Yeah. Oh, wait, you know, we're going to discard that as well. Uh, cloth. Don't worry about 
back. Top, anywhere you see transparency, like over here, you're gonna wanna do a discard, because it gets rid of the transparency, or it makes it transparent. Yeah, I don't know. two pieces. We're going to make sure that that model has... We can just go like this. You won't have all these materials as long as you don't import it twice. Yep. You'll be fine. You'll just have to kind of play around with it. Um, and see what works. What is that? Face brow. Uh -huh. See that face straight of that. Uh huh. And yeah, that should do it. Oh, no. Skin. My bad. do that <laughs> okay but yeah uh, if something doesn't look right just mess around with the materials until it um, you get right to where you need to be I don't know why that's a little bit lighter that should have been an issue with me not exporting right but we'll click OK and this is the results so yeah um, going back to Mitsumo like for example, um, this? whenever you want to add more animations, well, first we need to refresh. If you ever leave the window here and you're working on it, it will uh, stop the animation. So we'll do walk. And you can pick any walk, that's fine. Make sure you click in place. And then download. And uh, since you have the first one that has idle, you should do it without skin, and then 60 frames, and then you'll just add it like any other order animations. So you'll click download. I won't do that because I already have one. But uh, yeah, guys, uh, thanks for watching, and I will see you all in the Discord. Bye-bye.